In this video, I am going to show you the demonstration of the lighting and electricity effect, something like this. So this is just one simple example. Here I am going to demonstrate the core concept behind the lighting and electricity effect. By using this, you can apply it anywhere. Before going to proceed, make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Stay with me and let's begin. Alright, we are on Hitfilm Express and here I am going to make first composite shot here. Let's set the duration of 5 seconds. And in this composite shot, I'm going to drag one stock image. As you can see, it's a stock image, simple stock image. And here I'm going to reduce the brightness because basically I want to give a feel of little bit of dark so that my lighting effect gets more visible. Okay. So you simply search here and you type here brightness and you apply it under the settings. Uh, you simply reduce the brightness so that it becomes a little bit dark So I think this much enough. Okay, fine. Now before we apply the electricity effect I'm going to make one point here. Okay, so let's rename it. So let's rename this point as a right point Okay, so as a right and I'm going to place this point at this position So here you no need to apply the motion tracking because this is not a video this is a simple image a static image so no need to apply the motion tracking you simply point you simply place your point at this position or any kind of position whatever you like but for this video i have just placed here fine and the next step you just make one plane layer you keep the color black and name the plane as a right so let's change the name as a right electricity and in this plane layer i'm going to apply the lighting and electricity effect you simply search in the effect and type electricity effect you select here and paste in the black background okay now in a plane background you change the blending mode to screen so that we can get rid of the black portion so after changing the blend mode we are having this kind of effect as you can see this is my lighting and electricity effect and in this effect there are two points as you can see here this is my starting point and this is my ending point okay now you simply go to the properties of this effect and uh, under the start so this is it means so start means this point you change the layer to this right point okay so right is the name of the point we have just created okay and you make the position of this point as zero so that the starting point is properly placed at the right point okay so this is my ending point you place your ending point anywhere i have just shifted here okay so if i play this it becomes like this okay but still there are so many things so many elements needs to be added here first of all at the source point i'm going to place one source of light okay so this is my again uh, plane layer and in this plane layer I'm going to apply a light flare effect. So this is my light flare. You just apply it. Okay. And here I'm going to change the type of the light to flashlight white so that it becomes like this. You reduce the intensity. So as you can see here, here the electricity effect is starting from the first frame of this video. Okay, but I don't want to make it like this. I actually want the electricity effect should generate from this point and it should go like this. That means there should be a path from here to here. Okay, so that is missing here. So for that purpose, you again go to the uh, electricity effect. This is my lighting and electricity and uh, start point should remain as it is. But in the end section, then I'm going to play with the growth property. Okay. So as you can see here my growth value is 1. If I make it 0, you can see here the electricity effect is originating from the source. Okay. So here the value is always either 0 or 1. If I make it 0, so it will be completely disappeared. And if I make it 1, it will be appeared fully. Right. 
So now here the value is one. So you activate the keyframe, and just few frames back, you make it zero. So now you can have like this. It means electricity effect is generating from the source point. I think my source light is not in proper position. So you again go to the light flare effect. Under the hotspot position, you change the layer to the right point so that it properly fits. And here, you can make it zero. Okay, so now you can see our source light is properly at that place where we made the point layer. Now one more thing, you can see here, our source light is very fixed and it's very static. But we want to give a little bit flicker effect. Okay, so that is missing. So to give the flicker effect. You can apply the flicker property in HitFilm Express. So I'll show you. So this is a flicker in the search bar. You can easily apply it here. But problem is it is not a free. It's a paid add-on in HitFilm Express. If you want to use it, you have to pay for it. Okay, but still I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is my flicker. And uh, if I apply here, you can see here. So our flickering is properly working at the source light, okay? But since this is a paid add-on, so I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to make the flickering effect manually. So how to create the manually? You go to the light flare effect. So this is my light flares, right? We're going to play with the property of the intensity because at this point, our electricity effect is already started. So before that, we will give the flickering effect of the source light. Now you can see my intensity is 0.69. So here you activate the keyframe and just a few frames back, you change your intensity so that we can have a little bit flicker. And again, few frames back, you change the intensity. And in this way, you have to proceed. But you no need to make one by one. You simply copy these keyframes and paste here. Okay. You can again change these values. So that we can have a multiple variation of the flicker. So now you can see. We are having this nice flickering effect. Okay. I have just made a copy of all these keyframes. Now we are going to play the properties of this electricity effect. So there are so many parameters as you can see under the lighting and electricity effect you just you just go you can play with the property of the trunk so here you can see the trunk value is one so if i make it two you can see two electricity effect at the same time okay and if you play with the web value it looks like this so here i'm going to add one more thing at the beginning i have just left the electricity effect a thin but at the ending portion i will make it a little bit more white so how to make it wait? So you go to the end property and uh, under the end, under the end you will see the property of the width. So you increase it. So after increasing the width, you can see we are having a little bit more wider. Under the core settings, you can change the color as well. If you make it red, it becomes like this. Okay. But for this video, I have just left as a white. Okay. There is a glow property as well. You can increase the radius. So after playing it, you will see a little bit of glowness. Okay. So all these parameters are based on your choice, how you want your uh, the effect. Okay. So the right portion is completely done. Now I'm going to make the same effect in the left portion as well. So you no need to recreate it. You simply duplicate. So before going to make a duplicate, I'm going to make one new point. Make one new point and let's name it as a left. Okay. And this was my plane layer where I applied the electricity effect. Now I'm going to duplicate this and let's rename it as a left electricity effect. Okay. So in the left side under the effects, you need to change all the properties. So this is my light flare property and uh, under the hotspot position, you change the layer to the left. Okay. So this is my left point so for now i'm going to place this here you can place any position and here also you can see uh, the flickering is going on or you can make some tweaks here to have some variation so this is my light flare and uh, under the electricity effect at the starting point you change the layer to the left 
So now you can see our electricity is being appeared now from the left one as well because we have changed the layer. And now since both are same but we want to create a little bit of variation. So for that purpose I'm going to change the effects. Say you can play with the opacity and uh, under the trunks. So let's make here one now so that we have only one branch not two branches right you can play with wave style you can play with pitch scale something like this okay so now all are done here and now the final step so in the final step i'm going to create one join point that means where where both the electricity effect are being joined so at this point i'm going to create a heavy source of light for that purpose let's make one new plane let's say a middle point or say middle source of light and in this plane there, I am going to apply simply a light flare. So you apply it. You change the blend mode to screen. Under the parameters, I am going to change the light type here as a flashlight white. And you simply place it at the middle position where both are joining. You simply increase the intensity because it's a heavy source of light. Now we don't want this heavy source of light from the beginning because at the beginning, our electricity effect should start. And when both are joined, only then this heavy source of light should be appear. Okay, so you simply reduce the length. Okay, and uh, at the intensity, I'm going to play with the keyframe. So at this position, my keyframe is 3.61. So you uh, activate one keyframe, and at the beginning, you make it zero. So that we can have like this. It means both are joined. And here also you can apply the flicker effect of this source of light. You again go to the intensity and here you have to play with the property of the intensity to uh, give the flicker effect. You change the intensity here and after changing it one new keyframe will automatically form. And again after a few frames you can change the keyframe value, you can change the intensity value and in this way we have to proceed till the end of the frame. And no need to do one by one, copy those keyframe, paste here make some changes so now the final step so here i'm going to add one smoke effect so this is my stock clip of a smoke effect rotate here reduce the scale but smoke effect will only start when the big source of light is being appeared okay at this position first of all i'm going to change the blend mode to screen okay so i think we are done and after applying some uh, music and sound effect your final output becomes like this You see that? Now by using this technique, you can apply it anywhere, in any example, in any video. Maybe a couple of time backs, I made a video on sky replacement where I used the thunderstorm effect. You can check that video on this i button. If you found this video helpful, then smash the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. You can tag me on Instagram and follow me. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.